Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Playing with Power MTG, where we play with the most powerful cards in the most powerful formats. Tonight's game is brought to you by TCGPlayer.com, where you can find all of your cards online while still supporting local game stores, Dragon Shield for all the best accessories to protect your decks, and through Patreon, where you get awesome benefits for your direct support. For tonight's game, we are playing with one of our patrons, Tyler. Box Pro patrons get to be on an episode of Playing with Power, so sign up before our final slots get filled. Now, let's start out by showcasing our fighters this evening. First, we have Tyler, piloting Kenrith, the Return King. This is a mid-range deck that looks to grind value and assemble an infinite combo for the win. His opening hand contains a Pact of Negation, Dark Confidant, Hallowed Fountain, Exotic Orchard, Mana Vault, Jeweled Lotus, and his London Mulligan is a Mask of the Mimic. Next, we have Folger, piloting Tassiger, the Golden Fang. This is a control list that looks to stop its opponents early, recur interaction through the commander, and then win with a combo finish. His opening hand contains an Ad Nauseam, Time Twister, Force of Negation, Fell Warstone, City of Brass, Swamp, and his London Mulligan is a Diabolic Intent. After that we have Noah piloting the Gitrog monster. This is a land combo deck. Gitrog is one of the most unique decks in any format and its lines are both incredibly complex and highly synergistic. His opening hand contains a Wild Mongrel, Mox Diamond, Prismatic Vista, Lotus Petal, Guy's Cradle, Forest, and a Snow-Covered Swamp. Finally, we have Mike, piloting the partner pair of Krom, Ludovic's Opus, and Tevish Zod, Doom of Fools. This is a turbo ad nauseum list that can switch to a grind game with its commanders. His opening hand contains an Underground River, Blood Crypt, Mental Misstep, Pyroblast, Mox Diamond, Soul Ring, and a Reanimate. Without further ado, let's begin this impeccable, interesting, illustrious inclusion of incredible individuals. Tyler wins the weirdest card in your deck list challenge and gets to start us off. Tyler draws a card for turn and plays a Hollowed Fountain into play untapped, paying two life. He casts a Jeweled Lotus. He casts a Mana Vault. He cracks Jeweled Lotus for three white mana and uses it to cast his commander, Kenrith the Return King. Tyler passes. Folger draws a card for turn and plays a City of Brass. He passes to Noah. Noah draws a card for turn and plays a Prismatic Vista. He casts a Lotus Petal. He casts a Mox Diamond, discarding a Forest. He cracks his Vista, pays a life, and fetches up a snow-covered swamp onto the battlefield. He casts a wild mongrel. He ships the turn to Mike. Mike draws a card for turn and plays an underground river. He casts a mox diamond as well, discarding a blood crypt. He casts a mystic remora. In response, Folger casts Force of Negation, exiling Time Twister. Force of Negation counters and exiles remora. Mike casts a soul ring. He passes. During his draw step, Tyler takes a damage from his mana vault. He plays an exotic orchard. He casts a dark confidant. He moves to combat and attacks Noah with Kenrith. Noah doesn't block and takes 5. Tyler ships the turn to Folger. Folger draws and plays a snow-covered forest. He taps City of Brass to cast a Felwar Stone. He passes the turn. Noah draws and moves to combat. He attacks Mike with his Wild Mongrel. Mike takes the hit and in his second main phase, Noah casts Culling the Weak, sacrificing Wild Mongrel and making 4 black. He casts an Ad Nauseam. Ad Nauseam resolves and he reveals a Ramanop Excavator, City of Traitors, Entomb, Assassin's Trophy, Dark Ritual, Wild Growth, Finale of Devastation, Soul Ring, Imperial Seal, Ancient Tomb, Nature's Claim, Crop Rotation, Life from the Loam, Swamp, Marsh Flats, Carpet of Flowers, Command Tower, Chains of Mephistopheles, Demonic Tutor, Forbidden Orchard, and an Elvish Spirit Guide, deciding to stop there. Noah plays a City of Traitors. He casts a Soul Ring. He cracks his Lotus Petal for a black and casts Dark Ritual. In response, Mike pays two life and casts Mental Misstep, countering Dark Ritual. Noah exiles Elvish Spirit Guide and makes a green. He casts a Ramanop Excavator. Unfortunately, Mike's mental misstep was timed perfectly. It took him off of black mana and now he has to set up and go for the win next turn. Noah passes the turn, discarding to hand size. Mike draws and taps his Underground River to cast Imperial Seal. He fetches up a card onto the top of his library and loses two life. Mike passes. During his upkeep, Tyler reveals a Fiery Islet through Dark Confidant. During his draw step, he takes a damage from his Mana Vault. He plays a Fiery Islet. He taps his Fiery Islet to cast Demonic Tutor. He fetches up a card into his hand and then moves the combat. Tyler attacks Noah with Kenrith. Noah doesn't block and takes the hit. Tyler ends his turn. Folger draws and plays a Vanna Confluence. He casts a Mox Opal and then passes the turn. Noah draws and then casts his commander, the Gitrog Monster. In response, Tyler casts a Silence. Silence resolves, locking Noah out of casting spells this turn. Then the Gitrog resolves. Noah plays a Gaius Cradle from his graveyard through Ramanup Excavator. City of Traders triggers and Noah sacrifices it. The Gitrog Monster triggers and he draws a card. He plays his second land for turn from his graveyard through the Gitrog Monster and through Ramanop, which is a Marsh Flats. He cracks Marsh Flats and pays a life. 
the Gitrog monster triggers, and Noah draws. He fetches up a bayou onto the battlefield. He moves to his end step, and then his cleanup step, and discards Finale of Devastation, Chrome Mox, and Mana Confluence. The Gitrog monster triggers, and Noah replaces the draw by dredging life from the loam. He puts life from the loam into his hand and mills three. There is a unique ruling with the Gitrog monster, where now that Noah has eight cards in hand, the turn resets to his end step and he regains priority. The most important thing to note is that the effect of silence has now ended. So, in his end step, Noah casts an Entomb. He fetches up Dakmore Salvage into his graveyard. The Gitrog monster triggers and Noah replaces the draw by dredging Dakmore Salvage. He puts Dakmore into his hand and mills too. He moves to clean up, discards Dakmore Salvage to hand size, and the Gitrog monster triggers. He replaces the draw by dredging Dakmore Salvage again. He puts Dakmore back into his hand and mills too. This is where it gets a bit tricky. Noah can now non-deterministically filter through his deck until he has the seven cards in his hand that he wants. This can happen because when he mills two cards for dredging Dakmore Salvage, if he mills any lands, he gets another draw trigger. He also runs the Eldrazi Titans in his deck to shuffle his graveyard back into his library. Using this loop, he can effectively choose his seven cards in hand plus Dakmore Salvage. The bad news is that since it's non-deterministic, you technically cannot shortcut this action. However, if you find yourself playing against the Gitrog monster, it's common courtesy to let them shortcut this step. Noah performs this loop until he has his desired hand. Still in his end step, he casts Crop Rotation. He sacrifices a Snow-Covered Swamp and fetches up a Snow-Covered Swamp onto the battlefield, untapped. He flashes in Oblivion Crown onto his Ramanup Excavator. Now he has a discard outlet for the true Gitrog loop. It is around this time that Noah realizes he doesn't have any floating mana again and already exiled his Elvish Spirit Guide. With his current Brew of the Frog, he can't actually win from this position. So, after all that, Noah uses the loop of discarding Dakmore to Oblivion Crown, dredging Dakmore, milling two, and then drawing his entire deck. He sculpts his seven and then discards the hand size. Gitrog in a Shuffle Titan's trigger, and then he orders it so he shuffles the first and then draws a card through Gitrog. For the final time, Noah moves the cleanup and discards a Chrome Mox. The stack is clear, Noah has seven cards in hand, and the turn finally passes to Mike. Mike draws and caps his Underground River and casts Mnemonic Betrayal. His opponents exiled their graveyards and Mike can now play the exiled cards until the end of turn. He casts a Jeweled Lotus from Exile. He casts a Chrome Box from Exile, imprinting Pyroblast. He cracks Jeweled Lotus for three blue. He casts his commander, Krom, Ludovic's Opus. He moves to combat and attacks Noah with Krom. In a cruel twist of fate, Noah can't stop it, takes the damage, and dies. Mike passes to Tyler. During his upkeep, Tyler reveals a Mask of the Mimic through Dark Confidant. During his draw step, he takes a damage from his Mana Ball. He plays a City of Brass. He casts a Brainstorm. He draws three and puts two back on top. He moves to combat and attacks Mike with Kenrith and Dark Confidant. Mike takes it, and Tyler passes. Folger draws and plays a Swamp. He taps City of Brass and Mana Confluence to cast an Ad Nauseum. In response, Tyler taps Fiery Islet to cast Delay. Delay counters and exiles Ad Nauseum with three time counters on it. Folger passes the turn. Mike draws and casts his other commander, Tevish Sa, Doom of Fools. He activates Tevish's first ability and creates two Thrall tokens. He shifts the turn to Tyler. During his upkeep, Tyler reveals a Mask of the Mimic, again through Dark Confidant, because he put it there with Brainstorm last turn. During his draw step, he takes a damage from his Mana Ball. He plays an Island. He casts up Birds of Paradise. Tyler moves the combat and attacks Tevish Zot with Kenrith. Mike jump blocks with a throw. In response, Tyler taps Fiery Islet to activate Kenrith. He gives all creatures trample in haste until the end of turn. Tevish takes four, and Tyler ends his turn. During his upkeep, Folger removes the time counter from Ad Nauseum. He draws and plays a polluted Delta. He cracks the Delta, pays a life, and fetches up a snow-covered island onto the battlefield. He casts an Arcane Signet. He delves away some of his graveyard to help cast his commander, Tassiger the Golden Fang. Krom triggers and Mike draws. Folger passes. Mike draws and then activates Tevish's second ability, sacrificing Krom and drawing three cards. He chooses to put Krom into his graveyard instead of the command zone. He plays a command tower. He casts a Wishclaw Talisman. He taps Underground River to cast a Dark Confidant. Mike casts Reanimate, targeting Krom in his graveyard. In response, Tyler casts Flusterstorm, with all copies targeting Reanimate. Reanimate is countered, and Mike, now in a tough spot because Krom is in the graveyard, passes the turn to Tyler. During his upkeep, Tyler reveals an Imperial Seal through Dark Confidant. During his draw step, he takes a damage from his Mana Ball. He plays a Tundra and then casts Imperial Seal. He fetches up a card onto the top of his library and loses two life. Tyler taps Fiery Islet to activate Kenrith and draw a card. 
He moves to combat and attacks Folger with Kenra. Folger takes the hit, and Tyler passes. During his upkeep, Folger removes a time counter from Ad Nauseam. He draws and plays an exotic orchard. He holds open mana and ships the turn to Mike. During his upkeep, Mike reveals a Spire of Industry through Dark Confidant. He draws and then activates Tevish's second ability, sacrificing a Thrall and drawing two cards. He plays a Spire of Industry. He casts Spellseeker. It enters, and then Mike fetches up a Mana Drain into his hand. Mike passes the turn. During his upkeep, Tyler reveals a Mirror Maid through Dark Confidant. During his draw step, he takes a damage from his Mana Ball. He casts a Time Twister. In response, Mike taps Spire of Industry to cast Mana Drain, targeting Time Twister. Tyler responds by casting Pact of Negation, targeting Mana Drain. Pact counters Drain, and Time Twister resolves. Each player shuffles their hand and graveyard into their library and draws seven. Tyler plays an Overgrown Tomb into play untapped, paying two life. He taps Fiery Islet to cast Brainstorm. He draws three and puts two back on top. He moves to combat and attacks Folger with Kenra. Folger blocks with Tassiger. Before damage, he activates Tassiger, milling two, and Mike returns Talisman of Curiosity to Folger's hand. He activates Tassiger again, milling two, and Mike returns a Birds of Paradise to Folger's hand. Tassiger dies, and Tyler ends his turn. During his upkeep, Folger removes the final time counter from Ad Nauseam and casts it. In response, Mike casts Pact of Negation, targeting Ad Nauseam. Folger responds by casting Dark Ritual. He makes three black and then uses it to cast Tainted Pact. It resolves, and Folger exiles one card and puts Veil of Summer into his hand. He casts Veil of Summer. In response, Tyler casts Swan Song, targeting Veil. Vale. Folger responds by paying two life to cast Mental Misstep, targeting Swan Song. Tyler then taps City of Brass to cast Delay, targeting Veil vale of Summer. Delay counters and exiles Veil vale of Summer with three time counters on it. Then, Mental Misstep counters Swan Song, and Pact of Negation counters Ad Nauseam. Folger then draws for the turn and plays a Scalding Tarn. He cracks Scalding Tarn, pays a life, and then fetches up an island onto the battlefield. He delves away some of his graveyard to help recast his commander, Tassiger the Golden Fang. He casts Eldritch Evolution, sacrificing Tassiger as an additional cost. In response, Mike taps Underground River to cast Miscast, targeting Eldritch Evolution. Folger taps City of Brass and Mana Confluence to help pay for Miscast. Then Evolution resolves and Folger fetches up Coma, Cosmos Serpent, onto the battlefield. He passes the turn. During Mike's upkeep, three triggers go onto the stack. Tyler contemplates whether or not he wants to try and interact with Mike, and Mike assures them that there is a 0% chance of him winning this turn. Dark Confidant triggers, Pact of Negation triggers, and Coma triggers. Folger creates a 3-3 Serpent, Mike taps Underground River to pay for Pact of Negation, and then Dark Confidant reveals a Fierce Guardianship. He draws and then activates Tevish's second ability, sacrificing Spellseeker and drawing two cards. He pays two life and casts Jataxian Pro, targeting Tyler. In response, Tyler casts Silence. Mike responds by casting Fierce Guardianship for its alternate cost, countering Silence. Jataxian Probe resolves, Mike looks at Tyler's hand, and then draws a card. He plays an Ancient Tomb, and then taps it to activate Wishclaw Talisman. Mike fetches up a card into his hand and then gives a Talisman to Tyler. He casts a Dockside Extortionist. It enters, and then Mike creates five treasures. He cracks two treasures to cast Phantasmal Image. It enters as a copy of Dockside, and Mike creates five more treasures. He cracks three treasures to cast Praetor's Grasp, targeting Folger. Mike fetches up a Demonic Consultation out of Folger's library and exiles it. He cracks two treasures to cast Thassa's Oracle. With the ETB on the stack, Mike casts Folger's Demonic Consultation and exiles his library. Thassa's Oracle trigger resolves, and Mike wins the game. Even though he said he had a 0% chance, just saying, Mike lied, just saying, he's a con man, he lied to us. Ladies and gentlemen, what a game. Congrats to Mike on his win. Unfortunately for Noah, he came up just a bit short. Mike did a great job of answering threats and then assembled his combo out of nowhere. The most valuable card of tonight's game goes to Ad Nauseam. This spell was a focal point throughout the entire game. It allowed Noah to find almost everything he needed to combo. Folger's Ad Nauseam was countered twice and had lots of counter spells used to protect and stop it. A 5 mana instant that draws 20 to 30 cards is frankly ridiculous, and it is the backbone to some of the strongest decks in the format. Well that about wraps it up for this episode. You can help us out by liking, sharing, subscribing, and also supporting us on Patreon. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time.
Okay, it is Patreon shoutout time. Want to give a Patreon shoutout to an Alaskan bullworm, Dark, Philip Hickey, D. Roach, Brad Tobin, Sanguinolency, Snarps the Clept, Matt Wingrove, Delph Driz, Dante, Baby Jeebus, Trey Payne, Rakeko, James O. Gunsikin, O. Guns, O. Gunsikin. That's a whew, All right, O. Gunsikin, Zods, Noah Saldana, Wyon, Fur Berglund, Spielrahu, Sparks, Cz, and Nick. Thanks a lot, everyone. Really appreciate it.